In this video, I want to talk about something I used to do when I was learning how to code and following along with tutorials that ended up helping me learn quicker and helped me understand syntax better and just kind of gave me a better feel for how I should write code. I just recently found out that this actually has a name and it's something that people have been doing for hundreds of years. Ben Franklin used to do it when he was trying to get better at writing and teachers help students learn how to write like this. And what I'm talking about is called copy work. Do you remember when you were a kid and you were in school and you were learning how to write and the teacher would give you worksheets? that had dotted letters and dotted words that you would trace in order to learn how to write those letters and words? Well, that's copy work, or at least one form of copy work. Another form of copy work that is the one that I recently found out about is something that authors and writers do to help them get a better feel for writing. It kind of puts them in the shoes of the person that they're copying. Ben Franklin actually incorporated copy work into his writing techniques when his father pointed out that his writing lacked elegance of expression. So this stuff goes way back and it's something that people still do now. So after I recently heard about copy work in a podcast I was listening to, I realized that I had actually been doing that all along when I was learning how to code. So I wanted to share that and let you guys know how I think it helped me and how you can do it to help you while you're learning how to code. These benefits that I'm going to mention here that I found online is more for when students are learning how to write, but I'll also talk about how I believe that they'll translate over for you when you're learning how to code and trying to copy the code that you're following along with on a tutorial. One of the things that copy work helps with is it improves handwriting. Now, if you try to incorporate that with learning how to code, it actually will help you improve the way you write code. When students trace letters and words, it helps them understand how to write letters and how to form words. If you think about that when it comes to learning how to code, if you type out all the letters that you see on the screen when somebody builds out a function or a for loop or an if else statement, you can see that it will help you understand how to structure your code and how to write it correctly. So when you're following along with a tutorial, don't just select all the code and copy it and then paste the whole thing. Actually sit there and write out every word and every letter that you're following along with on the tutorial. And that's what I used to do. And I didn't realize at the time, but that probably really helped me retain a lot of the information I was learning. And it helped me remember some of the syntax that I was writing and it helped me understand how to write out a function and how to form an if else statement or a for loop. Another benefit of copy work is that it helps the student pay attention to detail. So if you incorporate that into learning how to code, you're following along with a tutorial and you type out all the code that you see on a screen or if you're trying to follow along with a lesson and you're trying to write out the code that you see in a lesson, this is helping you pay attention to detail and it kind of goes with what I was just saying. It helps you pay attention to the syntax. It helps you pay attention to how you're supposed to form a function and what the parameters are when you're passing them in and, or how to use those parameters when you're referencing them in your function. Since you type out all this stuff, you kind of walk in the shoes of the person that's writing it or the person that wrote it for the tutorial. And by doing this and copying the code that you see, it'll help you pay attention to the detail that goes into writing these methods and functions and conditionals when you go to try to write it yourself, you'll almost have a little bit of muscle memory from copying it when you were following along in a tutorial. The next benefit that I wanna mention that I saw online was that copy work helps a student's brain begin to understand how grammar and spelling rules work. Through copying passages, students will gain composition skills. And since code is meant to be read by humans and written by humans, not by a computer, the computer actually just reads it in binary, there's semicolons, there's commas when it comes to punctuation, and there is a level of grammar involved in code. And when you write out this code, it helps you form that grammar. It helps you understand the punctuation. It helps you just better understand how to structure code, how to read it, and how to write it. Another benefit to copy work is that it helps your student understand what good writing looks like. And this is great for beginners because if you develop good habits by copying good code from a good tutorial and writing that stuff out yourself as you're following along, it will help you understand what good code is supposed to look like. Assuming that the courses and tutorials that you're using to learn how to code were written by a developer who knows what they're doing and they properly structured their code and they properly formatted everything and their indentation is correct and their variables have good names and everything they're doing is right and it's it would be what you would expect from a production code base. It's nice, it's clean, it's well organized. Then by you copying this code that you're following along with in a tutorial, you will understand 
how you should be writing your code. You should understand what good code looks like. As you progress and you continue to learn and you start writing code on your own, you'll develop good habits that will prevent you from writing messy code or code that smells, and you'll just have a better understanding of how you should be writing your code. Uh, again, assuming that the person that created the course or tutorial that you're using built the best product that they could build and gave you production quality code, then you can copy that and be confident that you'll understand how to write good clean code from what you've been learning and from the code that you've been copying using copy work as you follow along with tutorials. The last benefit that I wanted to mention that I found on this website that was talking about copy work was that copy work can inspire your student. Copying quotes can help your student learn about virtues and character qualities. So think about that when it comes to code. You might copy something that you see in a tutorial and get inspired to build your own app based off of kind of what the tutorial might be doing or a variation of that, or it'll help you start to understand how to reverse engineer code, and it'll give you an idea of what you need to write in order to get your code to work when you go and start building your own things. Or, you know what they say, right? Good artists copy, great artists steal. If you build out something from a tutorial and you just remember a certain block of code that did something in that tutorial that you need to do in the app that you're creating, use it. A lot of the early stuff that I built, like the calculators and my timers and like all the little apps that I built to build up my portfolio, most of that stuff was like Frankenstein together. It's alive! By, by me just copying and pasting stuff from everywhere. And some of that stuff was stuff that I learned in tutorials because I was just like, hey, I need, I need something that does that. Even if it's just a conditional statement and I didn't remember how to write it, I would go and I would Google or reference a tutorial that I did and find how to write an if else statement. I remember constantly going back to reference the free code camp curriculum when I needed to remember how to do something. And oftentimes I would kind of copy blocks of code or if not, at least just read through it to kind of get a better understanding so then I can go and use it in what I was trying to build on my own. So don't be scared to draw inspiration or just copy stuff from tutorials or courses that you've been doing or just finding it on Stack Overflow. And to add to that, something that I would do when I was first getting started, when I would copy stuff from Stack Overflow, I would make sure to read it every time. I would always make sure to like try to understand what it was doing. And many times I would also try to type it out to build that muscle memory. So make sure that you incorporate that when you're learning how to code and don't just copy and paste stuff and drop it into your code and not read it and not try to type it out yourself. Or what you could do that I used to do when I would copy and paste stuff, I would copy it and paste it into my code and then I would kind of like rewrite it and, and try to figure out what it was doing and then I would remove the stuff that I realized that I didn't need because I would just copy a bunch of stuff. And sometimes I would leave stuff that I didn't realize that I didn't need in there because I didn't really know what it was doing and that's okay. You'll realize that sometimes you'll copy stuff and it'll have like a side effect and that's how bugs are introduced to your code when you're first getting started because you copy stuff, you don't know what it's doing, you don't really understand what a method is doing and, and you just throw it in your code and it's like, oh, it works, but now this other weird thing is happening. It's probably something in the code that you copied over and that's okay, it's just part of the process, but make sure that you do your best to understand the stuff when you are copying it and try to write it out on your own after you copy it and tailor it to what you're trying to do in your application. And now it looks professional. That's really impressive, it's beautifully done. I think we're gonna get an A. And remember, the most important part of learning how to code is understanding concepts, not so much the syntax. But the problem is, is that sometimes you can't understand the concepts if you don't know how to write the syntax. You can understand what an if else statement is supposed to do, if this else that. But if you try to incorporate an if else statement and you don't really know the syntax, it's hard for you to do. It's the same thing with a for loop. I remember writing out a for loop so many times and having to reference it so many times. And I remember typing it out letter by letter just so I can understand how to structure it because I knew that I needed it to loop over something, but I didn't know how to write it. So even though the concept of what I needed it for was there, I still couldn't implement it because I didn't know the syntax. And writing these out and copying them over and over really helped them stick. Now I can write a for loop with, without 
having to Google it because I've done it so many times, it's muscle memory. The same with conditionals, if else statements. I remember having to reference them all the time. I would Google them. I would I would just refer to wherever I could find an if else statement when I needed to use one. And I struggled with it a lot. And even though the concept of what it was supposed to do was there, I still had to write it over and over and over in order for it to stick. So yes, focus on the concepts because they're very important, but with copy work, it will help you a lot more with the syntax. And when you learn the syntax to a programming language, it helps you implement those concepts a lot easier. So with all those benefits that I mentioned, you can see why writers and authors have been using copy work to help them become better writers over time and why teachers use it to help students learn how to write letters and write words and form sentences and paragraphs and basically learn how to write. So use this to help you learn how to write code. All right, so that's the gist of what copy work is and how you can use it to help you learn how to code. I wish I would have known specifically at the time all the details to copy work because I maybe would have focused on incorporating it more. I really believe that this helped me learn faster and it helped me understand the concepts better and it made things stick and it gave me more muscle memory when it came to writing code and it helped me learn to read code and understand how it should be structured. So incorporate this into your learning because I really think that it could be very beneficial for someone who's just getting started learning how to code to type all the things that they're watching on the screen through a tutorial because it's what they'll be doing when they're doing it on their own. And yes, you can just copy those big blocks of code from the tutorial in the example that they give you, but you probably won't know what it's doing. But if you use copy work techniques and write all the stuff out on your own, it could very well help you in the long run. All right, with all that said, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you next time.